And for those of you out there, thank you for coming to the show. Welcome to My Cooking Nooks Fed Up, fast, easy, and delicious right here in the restaurant. Okay, you guys, today we have a great show. It's all about Easter. So Easter, in the past we've done an Easter show where we did ham. Most people do an Easter ham. We've also done pork steaks. Today we're doing meatloaf. We're doing turkey meatloaf, but it's got a little bit of an Easter surprise. Okay, we've got also, we've got Hasselback potatoes. I'll tell you about those in a minute. We're gonna have candy carrots. We've got carrot, it's a, you can tell a theme already, right? We've got <laughs> carrot cake cookies. And we've got a delicious red juicy punch. It's cranberry apple. It's got maraschino cherries and limes. And everything is great for Easter. And so here we go. Let's start cooking. Okay. So the first thing I want to show everybody is how to do a Hasselback potato. Now, what is a Hasselback potato? Anybody ever hear of a Hasselback potato? You have. All right. I've heard of that. A lot of people know what they are and a lot of people don't. So what they are is there was a restaurant in the 1940s in Stockholm, Sweden, and it was called the Hasselback. It was just the name of the restaurant, probably the folks' name, and they invented this potato. So I'm going to show you what this potato is and how easy this is to do. So the first thing is, first of all, any potato will work. Today I've chosen to do red potatoes. They're my favorite. I love red potatoes. It's got like a, almost a sweeter taste. I just love them. They're softer. They're easy to work with. And when we do our potato salad here at the restaurant, we use red potatoes. So the very easiest thing to do is you cut the bottom, okay? You cut the bottom so you have a flat surface, okay? Now you're going to cut. Don't go all the way through. You want it so that it actually, when it cooks, it kind of fans open a little bit, okay? And you're going to cut right here. Chris, can you see that in the camera? Okay. We're going to cut. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut. Okay. And we have Susan Bridger with us on Hello, Susan. The I heard Josh was out there. Josh Hi, was there. Amber, Amber was there. there. I yeah. hear. We appreciate you guys tuning in. You know, we started this journey in 2020, right after COVID. And um, it just, the, sh the cooking show just took off. And so two cookbooks later, almost a third, and a restaurant. This has been a great journey for my cooking nook. Okay, so here we go. We cut this down. Now remember, don't cut all the way down. You don't want the potato to fall apart. You just want it to fan a little bit, okay? All the way, there you go. Now, I've already buttered the bottom of this little pan. I've got them all cooked in the back and ready for lunch, but what I did was I melted butter and added garlic salt and uh, pepper and parsley. I love parsley and things, love parsley. And then you just, you can actually put rosemary, dill, you can put any flavor that you like, that you personally like in this kind of potato, okay? I just like garlic butter, that's, that's my favorite, so I just love that. I think it enhances everything without over enhancing everything. And then you can always add, Things, okay, so when you're doing this, when you're dabbing the butter, make sure that you kind of spread it apart a little bit so that the butter seeps all the way down. And heck, let's go crazy. There we go. <laughs> Just to use up my garlic butter. <laughs> okay, so basically that is all you do. Now, what I did with these, to be perfectly honest, because everything I do is fast, easy, and delicious, I part cook the potatoes. Okay, so now when I put it in the oven, in about probably 15, 20 minutes, I've got baked potatoes. Okay, so this <coughs> will go in the back. Elizabeth, will you come here a second, please? First of all, I do want to say this to you. This is my oldest daughter, Elizabeth. Today is her birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Sensitivities. Sensitivities, whatever you want to call it. Um, we can accommodate. We've been able to accommodate 
really some major food things and some small food things. So because I've grown up for most of my life allergic to pork and beef. So what do I do? I use ground turkey for everything. Meatloaf, chilies, meatballs, whatever. And I love ground turkey and you can do so much with it. So I did a ground turkey meatloaf. And what I did was, well, let, let, me, let me just put it together, okay? I have a pound of ground turkey right here, okay? So what I would do, hey, listen, would you go get me two eggs, please? So in here, two regular eggs. Okay. In here, oh, I only need one, one egg. So I have uh, probably, I think it was about three quarters of a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs, okay? In here, I put a good heaping tablespoon of my garlic salt mix, okay? It is the California blend. It's the Lowry brand, which I absolutely love. It's got so many nice seasonings in there. And I also use the 30% less sodium because I have, because of, I have another disease called Meniere's disease. Everything has to be low sodium, okay? So everything that I do is low sodium. So you've got a three quarters of a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs, thank you very much. You've got, I put probably about another heaping tablespoon of parsley, dry parsley, and then the, the garlic salt. That's gonna go in here. And then one egg in there. Now, I'm gonna kind of mix it up for you because I would always add water to this because you have to have, there's a certain consistency that I look for, anybody looks for with meatloaf, okay? So right now, I would put this together. I'm gonna put it together without the water, but I'm gonna show you what I've done to make it an Easter meatloaf, okay? And this is gonna go back to when I was young and mom making meatloaves, and there was sometimes something special in the middle. And so what I did, well, you can tell, what I did was I actually boiled eggs, okay? And I actually dyed the eggs the boiled eggs, you can actually dye with, take the shells off, because you're truly not going to put them, no. The <laughs> shells inside the meatloaf, that would be really bad. And so, let's put this meatloaf together, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so, anyway, I want to check out there real quick and see how everybody's doing. We're so excited you guys are here. Remember that you can always watch this show later on on our YouTube channel, My Cooking Nook. It just is under the videos, okay? All right. So what I did, Mom, this is what you, I'm sure this is what you used to do. You take the meatloaf. <laughs> and we make fresh meatloaf every day here at the restaurant, the turkey meatloaf. And boy, it's becoming a big hit. I was going to say, it's one of the best sellers. Now, I put the meatloaf, I mean the, the eggs, right in the middle of the meatloaf. And then right on top. So <laughs> cover it up. Make sure you cover it's it up. So cool. Isn't that cute? Yes. My friend's mom used to do that. Oh yeah. Do you guys? Would you ladies mind being on camera? <laughs> I would love that. I would love for you to do that. We won't do it without permission. I, I mean, I don't care. Okay. Do you mind being on camera? No, okay. Uh, okay. Well, and we know. I was going to say, we know Fran doesn't mind. That's Mama Fran. And our friends here. Yes. You guys are beautiful, and we appreciate you being here today. We want to spread the word about our show. Okay, now here's what I do with the ground turkey. After I get it put together, I always put some water on the pan. Ground turkey has no fat. Right. So there, you're never going to find, you make a, a beef meatloaf or a pork, whatever you're making, it's always going to be fat at um, the bottom. Okay. Can I ask not this. Sure. Yeah. Can, can you use a gluten-free? Um, my daughter's got celiac disease. Yes. So can you use a gluten-free breadcrumb instead you of? Absolutely. Because otherwise I would have used oatmeal. Yes. You can either one. Yes. Works perfectly. Whatever your filler is, is fine. It's going to it's going to come out the same okay. way. The problem is now, like I said, if you don't put fluid or something, the water on the bottom. Bad. Yeah. It'll be a brick. You will literally have no liquid that's in that. You will not have a moist meatloaf. And so you have to have water. And I usually put, I'm talking probably about a half an inch of water around the whole pan. And by the time the meatloaf is done, I usually don't have to put any more. And by the time the meatloaf is done, 
you've got a beautifully perfect moist meatloaf, and then my sister gets it in the back, she's the chef back there, and she'll take what's left down here, because that's great flavor, right. and we'll yeah. use it just right on top of that. Okay, okay? so I'm gonna bring, well, I'm gonna leave this right here, the ladies will take that in a minute. I'm gonna okay, put all so this aside. is asking, is yeah. that the same with ground meat with the water? No, ground beef has its own liquid. You yeah. do not need it. If you put it in ground beef, it's just going to mess up mess up what comes to the bottom. So absolutely not. You don't want to do that. Okay, let's work next on our carrots, okay? So what I did today is I love carrots. Carrots are probably my favorite vegetable. Um, green beans, number two. You know, I have my, everybody's got their list of favorites, but carrots is my favorite. But my favorite favorite is when I candy the carrots. And so when I, I like to cut them on the bias, which means you just peel the carrot and you cut them on a slant. And it makes this beautiful little slice, okay? It just makes it pretty. It doesn't do anything to the flavor, obviously. But it just makes it a pretty dish, okay? Now, I, all I'm gonna do is, these are hard cooked, okay? Because carrots, as you know, are a very hard vegetable. They take a little bit longer to cook. So hard cooked these, I just boil them in a little bit of salt and, and pepper and they're perfect. They're almost, if you, if you bit them right now, they'd be a little bit of a bite. Okay, okay, that's exactly what you want. I always heat my pan before I put even the oil. Hey, Elizabeth, do me a favor. I, no, well, I'll use butter. Never mind, I'm gonna use butter. Um, so always heat your pan, always, always, always. First, before you put oil, before you put butter, before you put anything, you heat that pan. And then I'm going to add about a half a stick of butter. That sounds like a lot, but not with what we're doing. Okay? So, get that in there. She makes the best carrots. I don't even want carrots. They're just really, really, really good. So, yeah. melt that butter. You even. I was, I was going to say, and those of you who have followed us over the years know I'm not a veggie person, but I love these carrots. These carrots are so Again, fast, easy, and delicious. Most of the stuff that I do is just super fast. And like we did a, a Thanksgiving meal one time. The first of all, the cost of the whole Thanksgiving meal was $29. And that was literally, I used turkey legs. I had stuffing. I had mashed potatoes. We had vegetables. We had bread. We had everything. And my total was $29. And I did the entire meal in less than an hour. So, and it was great. Remember that? It was great. And, it and was, it there was enough. One of my I was going to say, it's on, it's on the uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. And if I remember, there was, a, a, with that $29, that was like for a family of there four? Was eight. Or no, for eight. eight? That yeah, was eight. Okay. Eight. Yeah, it was for eight people. Okay. And Let that blue. butter melt. Okay. Throw those carrots in. And look at that buttery glaze mm -hmm. already. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, this is just my favorite. I'll, I may leave you guys some. Kelly Koenig Fair is with us online. Well, Kelly, hello, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly how are you? Girl, thanks for being here today. We sure appreciate that a lot. We've had viewership all over the world since we started this thing. It's kind of crazy. We didn't expect all of that, but. It has been an amazing journey for my cooking nook. And then, of course, five months ago, we opened the restaurant, and it's been unbelievable. I mean, we cannot believe what's happening here. Okay, this, I want it to heat a minute, okay? While this is kind of cooking a little bit, um, I'm going to wait a second to put the rest of the stuff on it. I'll tell you about the, the cookies here. So, I don't know how I did it, but I actually found found carrot cake mix. I didn't even know they made that. Which saved me all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You know? So this is what I do. To make cookies, you use cake batter. Okay? So it's so easy. Okay. So I had to kind of work with this a little bit to figure out what I was going to do with it. But it's one egg. 
So you just put the whole bag of the carrot cake, hello, come on in, the whole box of the carrot cake mix, okay? And this is so cool because it actually has a little chunk of carrots in it. It's like, where have you been all my life? Anyway, I'm going to put one egg. I'm going to put, this is three tablespoons of crushed pineapple. This is a half a cup of oil. Okay, there's my cookie batter. That's the whole cookie batter right there. Four items, fast, easy, and absolutely delicious. You, you'll, you'll see that it'll, it won't be a cake consistency, it's gonna be a thicker batter. I scoop it, I put it on the pan, and I bake it for about 14 minutes, and you've got great cookies. I don't care what flavor you're using. It is, um, it, it's the best cookies ever, that's, what we, that's, what, that's how I do all my cookies here. Let me make sure this is not going well. So Josh says he actually yeah. did your Thanksgiving meal. He did? They, they did. He said it cost him $34 total for the whole family, and it was delicious. There it is. Yay, Josh! <laughs> <laughs> I have a quarter of a cup of packed brown sugar. And if you really like it sweet, you can put more than that. But that really kind of, that's about all you need to fill it. That's kind of what gives it that candy flavor. That's the candy. That's, and it puts like a glaze over the carrots. Oh my goodness, it's so, so good. You, can you already see that beautiful glaze on there? Look at that. Now I'm going to turn this down because I just want this to kind of cook and marry and all that. I'm going to put a little tiny bit. This is my garlic salt mixture. Okay. That's looking beautiful. And then, something that I do that I think always makes everything look homemade. Okay, even when I make my soups every day here. Just parsley, just parsley. It's such a simple thing. But it makes it, it just makes it look prettier and it makes it look homemade. Because you're not gonna find something store-bought with parsley in it to make it look pretty. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> And so look at those beautiful carrots. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna let that just cook and simmer. And for those of you out there hearing the ding dong occasionally in the background, that's the door to the restaurant. The we restaurant. are open for business in. and we are there We've picking up orders. So. Orders already, yeah. Yeah. And it's just barely, it's not even lunchtime yet, but we already have orders, takeout orders. So. Okay, so this is, this, is the consistency of the cake mix right here for cookies. Okay, that's it. You want it nice and thick, okay? Ooh, that's a nice smell. <laughs> Mom always says, I'm not a baker. Now, she's a great cook. She's a great cook, but she's <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay, so I just, just to make it uniform, we use a scoop, you know, just a cookie scoop. I kind of do like a little heaping. And that's it. And then that'll spread out and those will be delicious. Now guess what I have on top of them? I have homemade cream cheese icing. Ooh, that's right. But you can't have carrot cake without cream cheese icing, all right? Okay. Now, these are just biscuits we make here. They're simple and easy, but that I won't give the recipe to. Because that's a secret. Because everybody asks us to come in and I want your biscuits. Okay. Someday I might put it in my cookbook. Don't know. Okay, the the ice the um the drink. Come this way. Okay, drink. All this is is cranberry apple juice. It's got um, a fizzy lime water. It's got maraschino cherry juice, and then that, that's it. That's all there is. And so we'll give you some juice in a minute. This is ready. So uh, Josh says, Jessica would like to know if you're going to sell your famous mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to sell it? I, ha I have sold it here <laughs> on the plate for lunch. 
Okay. We have Lorena Zelda Zeldano with us. Hello, Hello Lorena. Lorena. Thank you for joining us today. We are doing our Easter Easter feast, and we're doing meatloaf, and it's got a surprise in the middle. The, the Easter the Easter part of it is that there are hard boiled eggs in the middle of the meatloaf, and then we have Hasselback potatoes, and we've got candied carrots, and we've got carrot cake cookies and punch. Okay, so guess what? Meal is done. That's it. So how easy was that? So Elizabeth, will you guys bring me alpha meatloaf? Yes. And would you bring me the half of that potatoes? Okay. You can take this back with you. And we're going to serve up some lunch. Oh, yeah. I mean, how quick is that? I never thought you could die on a peel egg. You can, you have to do it with just vinegar and water. You know, I didn't use like the actual Easter egg dye. You have to use food coloring. Food coloring. Food coloring. If you use yeah. food coloring, vinegar and water, it's you perfectly safe. It's like the old yeah. yeah. It's perfectly <laughs> safe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Here's our meatloaf. And here are the Hasselback, thank you, potatoes. Look at that. And I am going to serve up a meal for all of you ladies. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to take a Hasselback potato. Because it's easy. Yeah. 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 Um, I've got another. Oh, could you get me another one of these? Yes. Meatloaf? So, I mean, the potatoes, yesterday we tried them and they were yeah. so delicious. They were amazing. <laughs> So I'm going to cut it this way so everybody can see the egg inside. There it is. Look at that. Oh, that is sweet. Very great. I didn't see that before. Okay, Elizabeth, I'm going to have you stir it. I don't have a remember, but that's how I was. One of our neighbors was Italian, and she did this stuff. And that's good. And this meal is delicious. Take that. I'm just showing everybody yeah, out there what the meal looks like. Phenomenal. This is a perfect Easter meal, you guys. Perfect it Easter is. meal. And it's so easy. Meatloaf is so easy. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, we can start giving that out to the ladies. The silverware is on the table. Elizabeth, the birthday girl, is serving that up there. And Christine's going to make some more. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, here. Oh, pass it down to you first. Okay. Definitely. Okay. The queen needs the Okay. And they serve hot. So, John, you're going to. So, Josh says, I will be making that. Good, said, but Josh. they would said they'd like a plate now. Can we deliver to Arizona within the next few minutes? <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I would totally love to do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is actually such an easy meal. No, I'm just sticking out with the water, okay. then I'll have punch later. And okay. It is, yeah. That now I can't wait for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is quite versatile. You can do it. You can do it in a muffin tin. Yeah. You can do it. Yes. You know, any way. You sure can. And then freeze whatever leftovers you have. You sure can. Hello, hello. We're giving out our cookies right now. Uh oh. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so guys. 
That's it. We're less than 30 minutes. Meal is done. Get ready for Easter is what? Just next Sunday, April 9th. So this is such an easy, happy, that delicious, wonderful meal. Perfect and Easter meal. Me. It'll keep you at the kitchen. And it's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> this will get you out there with the kids and grandkids doing the Easter egg hunt with That's no right. stress That's in the right. kitchen. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for being here today. Thank you, ladies. Spread the word about this. And we thank you all for being here today. This is number 72 in my cooking. It's fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. I'm Christine Eaton. And one more time, happy birthday, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, guys, we will see you next time on Fed Up. Bye-bye.